Ever wondered what you can do with your Nixie tubes that had their paint scratched off? In most cases, Nixie tubes are recycled. It's very rare that you end up buying a brand new one. And the most common problem with the old Nixie tubes is that they end up having their paint chipped off. So if you're curious how to refurbish your tubes so that the clock that you make with them does not look like it was teared apart by some wild animals, then keep watching. So normally, this is what your Nixie tube, the recycled Nixie tube will look like, with paint scratches and chips all over the place. So the first thing you want to do if you want to refurbish this tube is remove all the old paint. For that simply you need a box and a very special liquid. I call it water, but not just any water, warm water. So simply put the tube in the water, let it soak there for a while, the water will get beneath the paint and the paint will slowly peel off after that. So let it soak in the warm water for a few minutes and then the paint can be chipped off using your hands, your nails and a simple kitchen sponge. So that's what we're gonna do. You can see these large chunks of paint just fall off. When using a sponge it's useful not to use a very abrasive sponge since that might end up scratching the glass so a simple kitchen sponge is all you need. No other abrasive materials or solutions or whatever. And after about 10 minutes, all the paint has been removed. The tube is completely spotless. The paint has been removed from the tube and ended up on my hands, but that can be washed away. So this is what the Nixie tube looks like without any of the previously applied paint coat. Now with the paint removed, we can clearly see a difference. Although both tubes are supplied at the same voltage and through the same current setting resistor, the one without paint looks much much brighter, but the one with paint has a much better contrast ratio. And this shows us exactly what the paint was for in the first place. The tube without paint has a bluish glow around the tube. This glow is bright. By adding a red color paint, you will only let the red color of light pass through. All the bluish glowing will disappear. And that's why the tube with paint has a much better contrast. Now at this point, you can decide what you want with your tube. Either leave it like this, no paint at all, or think about what you've done when you removed the paint in the first place. And think what you can do about it. Well, the good news is you can do something about it you can put a new coat of painting on. And that's the next step. Got my tube here, which has been previously cleaned. So the first thing you want is to have your tube as clean as possible, so no water or dirt or anything else on the surface of the glass so that the paint can adhere to it properly. Now the paint, what I'm using now is this glass paint. Got it from the local art shop and simply use a brush and apply the paint on the tube. So let's see what happens. Nice red color and gently apply coat of paint on your tube. Depending on how good a painter you are, your coating will come out more or less uniform.
make sure the entire surface of the tube is covered up until the top and basically that's it it's done the whole tube has been covered with a new coat of paint we just need to let it dry for about eight hours or at least that's what it says on this on the paint that i have and afterwards we can test and see and compare it to the original coating of paint how well this behaves so now in the end we can compare what we've done on the left side we can see the tube with the original paint no paint and the refurbished paint what we can say by looking at these three is that the last one the new paint is much much clearer than the original one this can be due to the fact that the original tube might have might have been exposed to some chemical factors or the tube is just really really old and the paint started to decay but all in all based on these results you can decide how you want to make your tubes look either simply remove all the paint or add a new coating of paint or if you can accept leave the original paint on with any sort of scratches or whatever might some useful information out of this leave your thoughts in the comments and see you next time bye bye